Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So for this video, I'm going to do a remake of my first ever YouTube tutorial, which was on this high puffs hairstyle. So the first thing I'm going to do is take out my current style, which was my Marley twist with the triangle parts like, bruh, these parts were crisp as you know what. But my scalp was so itchy and I could not wait to take them out. And afterwards, my hair kind of looked kind of cute. It looked kind of like a twist out, right? But bruh nothing feels as good as scratching your scalp after you take out some braids or some twist oh my goodness my scalp itched so badly so i'm just gonna wash it all out get all that product out my hair and now it's all it feels so nice and clean oh i love it so then the next thing i'm gonna do is use this quench pure moisture from Asation's naked line and i'm just gonna take a little bit and work it through my hair and this is just going to provide a moisture barrier for my hair and then I'm gonna go back and add a cream on top of it so right now like this is just helping me detangle my hair adding some moisture to my hair right after I got out the shower and I'm just gonna comb that through with my two-sided brush here but I'm gonna use the comb side and start at the ends definitely don't start at the at the root because that's just dumb honestly like I did that accidentally because you know my behind thought that I could actually get the comb you know from the root to the tip but no no you got to go the other way from the tip to the root otherwise it hurts all right so the next thing I'm going to do is go into my megla megla I don't know how to pronounce it my moisturizing cream and I'm just gonna apply that liberally onto my hair and then I'm going to part my hair with just my handy dandy comb and I'm just going to part it down the middle because I'm going for just a two puff hairstyle. And then I'm just going to part away one side so that I can deal with the other side. And I'm going to use the laid edge control which is my favorite of all time and I actually use it the way that I would use a gel so I'm going to apply it onto basically all of my hair all my hair that's going to show that I want to be smooth because it's a lot better than using a gel because it doesn't get hard it doesn't get flaky it doesn't feel like anything but your hair like no matter how long you wear it I mean I'm still wearing it right now and my hair still feels soft like it doesn't have that stiffness that hardness that most edge controls and gels have so that's why I really really love to use the edge control as like a gel and then I just brush it through and I try to get my hair as smooth as possible but you know it doesn't have to be perfect you know still going for like a natural kind of look so and I like to do my little pigtail twice the first time it's not going to be as tight as I want it to be so the first time I do it and then I brush all the hairs together and then I tie it again tighter and then I'm going to put it into a little bun and then just do the same thing to the other side And to lay down my edges, I'm just going to use my handy dandy bandana that I had laying around. And just tie down them edges, let it set for a little while, and then come back once it's dry. Alright, so now that it's dry, I'm going to take off the bandana and then I can actually get into the styling part. So I'm going to use my Curly Clips extensions, my clip-ins. I think that they were the Bobcat Spiral. So for side number one, I'm going to use the four clip section. As well as a two clip section. And for side number two, I'm going to use the three clip section and then two of the two clip sections. And that's what comes in w when you order one pack of curly clips. So I'm just going to start by pinning the clips onto the base of my pigtail and kind of wrapping it around that little pigtail. And just make sure that all the clips are secure because you don't want them falling out. 
And this process, once you get into it, it only takes about five minutes. And then once the other side is done, I can wrap up the buns. Or you can just leave them out, you know, like free-flowing pigtails. That would be cool, too. But I'm going to do a bun, and I'm just going to wrap my hair around the base of the pigtail, you know, just like a regular bun. And then just pin it in with a bobby pin. And then I'm just gonna do the other side, and then that's it. So that's it for my redo of my first ever video with curly clips. I'm so happy that I'm able to redo it with some better quality. And I still love curly clips two years later to this day. Go out and get you guys some curly clips. I will put the link down below, and be sure to follow me on Instagram, and be sure to check me back here for my next video. Bye.